your reason for being here today? The most vulnerable citizens are facing malnutrition and human needs. They are being put off with assistance with the legislation of the governor and the judge has stayed the immediate removal of people. But these people really want a job. And, and the governor targeted them to expose them to malnutrition and the homelessness. So now targeting them for a job. These persons need four things. They need daycare for their children, they need transportation, job training, and a job. And I hope that will be his effort. He will really set up a commission on poverty. Now that it's just a human need and jobs, and that will help us all. You think their voices should be heard after coming out here like this? Should their voices be heard? Their voices must be heard. And this is in the context of the broader need to revive a war of poverty. Four of them being Americans are own food stamps. None of them are students in the universities. Four of them are Some of them are teachers. Some of them are veterans. 47 million in poverty. 52 million have no health insurance. And 25 million looking for a job. And so we will not join the drive to survive a war on poverty, not a war on the poor. How do you feel about the uh, judge blocking the uh, legislation going through? The judge saved Michigan from a moral disgrace by putting the most vulnerable citizens out. Those on the deck of the ship are still getting tax cuts. But those who hold the ship are still getting more water poured on them, and the simply is not fair. This depends on people of conscience, or rather to whether you're in Mackinac or in Detroit, or Ben Law, Pornick, in our quest to provide dignity for the first Americans, we must all find common ground.